Hey guys, Dr. Betts here. Welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Instructional Videos. Now we'll be talking about Chapter 7.3, Liquids and Solids. Attractive forces are everywhere. All right, now we're going to talk about changes of state and attractive forces. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Now we've all, we all know this. Water will melt, water will freeze, water will go into the gas state. We all know that. Everything will, for the most part. Now, think about this. When you heat something up, the particles begin to move faster. So those particles we've been talking about, those atoms and molecules, start to move faster. They just start to go. And the interactions between them become less important because, well, they're moving faster. Now, think about that. If you're attracted to someone, don't you slow down to talk to them? You don't run past them. So if you're running past something that you're attracted to, you're not even going to know you're attracted to them because you're going to be already by them before you even know it, okay? So that's why slowing molecules down makes them more attractive to each other because it gives time for that attractive forces to take hold. The faster things are moving, the less opportunity they have to interact, okay? Now, if you heat up something, heat up something or cool something down enough, you will get what's called a change of state. Excuse me. Now, this includes freezing, melting, which you guys already know those two, right? Freezing and melting. Come on. Uh, go from the solid to the liquid. That's called melting. Going from the liquid to the solid. That's called freezing or solidification. Uh, evaporation and condensation. Evaporation, simply um, put, you might want to write those down. Evaporation is the surface molecules of a liquid finding enough kinetic energy to go into the gas state. That's evaporation. Take, for example, water. Water evaporates, you know, fairly slowly. It's the surface molecules on the water that actually evaporate. Now, imagine like, after a rainstorm or something here in Florida. Those uh, water rain puddles are there, but after a couple hours, they're gone. What's happening? Well, the water is not boiling off. It's not hot enough to boil, but the water will evaporate off the surface. Okay? So the surface molecules get enough energy to go into the gas state. Now, condensation occurs when the molecules in the in the gas state lose enough energy to go into the liquid state. That's called condensation. Now, when you go out to the restaurants in Florida, you sit outside in the on the terrace or the balcony or the patio or whatever, you have a glass of water. It's got ice in it, nice cool glass of water. All of a sudden, after about two or three minutes, your glass starts to get beads of sweat on it, this droplets of water. And then what happens is eventually this starts to roll down the glass and roll down the table. I mean, it makes the table wet. There's so much water coming off the outside of this glass. What's happening is the air is filled with water, water vapor, water gas. Those water molecules collide against the, um, what do you call it, the glass, sorry, <laughs> collide against the cold glass, and they lose their energy, and then they form liquid water on the glass and eventually it'll start to run down the table because there's so much water in the atmosphere here in florida and this happens all the time because the energy from the water in the air is absorbed into the glass it makes your ice melt faster too so you know it's one of the things we deal with here in florida uh sublimation and deposition those are two you may not have heard of sublimation is to go from the solid to the gas state without passing through the liquid and deposition is to go from the gas to the solid state so it's the opposite of sublimation. Uh, for example, dry ice sublimates. Uh, ice cubes in your freezer will sublimate. They'll, uh, you, probably, you probably noticed in your freezer, if you leave your ice cubes in there long enough, they'll have a funny taste. And, that's because, and they'll also be smaller. And that's because the uh, ice is subliming. The water on the ice is subliming into the freezer. And you may also notice that your freezer becomes frosty over time. And that is the water in your freezer depositing or doing a deposition onto the freezer. And uh, that's what they are. So you might want to, oops, you might want to know these because they are important. And here's a little uh, schematic, if you will. So here you have solid to liquid. That's called melting. The reverse of that is called freezing. Liquid, uh, sorry, solid to gas is called sublimation. The reverse is deposition. Uh, liquid to gas is called vaporization, and the opposite of that is condensation. It's a nice little triangle to remember. It tells you all the states of matter. 
and is relatively easy to remember. And I'm sure all of you have uh, familiar with most of these, if not all of them. So, and believe it or not, that's a real short video for you guys. It's the end of 7.3. So we're going to cut the video. We're going to pick it up at 7.4. So I'll see you again real soon. Good luck. Good chemistry.